1953, James Watson and Francis Crick discovered that the genetic information stored in DNA has the shape of a double helix. The genetic codes of all living beings are kept in repeating pairs of nitrogen bases, called base pairs. We refer to these base pairs by using the first letters of their components, G, C, A, and T. A long string of these base pairs is called a chromosome. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes in each cell. The base pairs form the steps of the double helix ladder, and the arrangement of the base pairs is how the DNA's genetic information is encoded. There's a great variety in the number of chromosomes that different beings have. The kangaroo has eight pairs of chromosomes, carrot nine, rice 12, giraffe 15, porcupine 17, earthworm 18, tiger 19, mouse 20, wheat 21, dolphin 22. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, potato 24, pineapple 25, cotton 26, sheep 27, strawberry 28, goat 30, horse 32, bear 37, dove 39, turkey 40, shark 41, crab 104, and the black mulberry has 154 pairs of chromosomes. Encoded in the base pairs of the chromosomes of an organism is all the information to build that organism from a single fertilized cell. In the human being, each of the 23 chromosomes has between 46 million and 247 million base pairs. In total, the chromosomes in each of our cells have over 3 billion base pairs. To picture this number of 3 billion base pairs in every cell, let's say pennies were stacked on top of each other, each penny representing a base pair. The stack of 3 billion pennies would be 3,000 miles long, the distance from New York to Los Angeles. Compared to the 3 billion base pairs in the human, some organisms have less and some have more. For example, the bat has 1.9 billion base pairs, the boa constrictor has 2.1 billion, the bullfrog has 7 billion, and the lungfish has 130 billion base pairs in their chromosome. By analogy, somehow this 3,000 mile stack of base pairs, each base pair represented by a penny, has all the encoded information to build a human being. Let's focus on the DNA of the human being. Each of our 23 chromosomes has an exact number of base pairs, as we can see in this diagram. Look how the number ranges from chromosome 1 with 247,199,719 base pairs to chromosome 21 with 46,944,323 base pairs. Sometimes a single change in one of the base pairs can cause a birth defect, such as sickle cell anemia. Every cell in our body has these identical 23 pairs of chromosomes, except sperm and eggs. They have 23 chromosomes, but without its partner in the pair. When a sperm enters the egg, the 23 chromosomes from the sperm join up with their corresponding chromosomes from the egg, forming 23 pairs. Then begins an amazing task. Four weeks after conception, the fetus is growing at a rate of a million cells a second. In the next nine months, the base pairs and the chromosomes use their genetic code to build a human being with 37 trillion cells. Just the act of duplicating the billions of base pairs into every new cell is amazing. As the cells multiply, the genetic code tells it how to make the human being's heart, lungs, eyes, ears, muscles, liver, stomach, skin, nerves, bones, and brain. The brain grows at a rate of 250,000 neurons a minute, with the brain ending up with 100 billion nerve cells that gives us a consciousness that we barely understand. It builds a hundred thousand miles of blood vessels to feed each of the 37 trillion cells. 
Our bone marrow produces two million red blood cells a second to keep our blood fresh. The complexity is truly mind-boggling. It's difficult to imagine how the three billion base pairs in the chromosomes of the one fertilized egg has the information to make a human being with 37 trillion cells, each cell in its right place, made in just the right sequence, so that all our organs work in harmony to make us alive. To help visualize the number of 37 trillion cells, there are as many cells in the human body as there are seconds in a million years. About a decade after birth, Hormones kick in so that in time another sperm may fertilize another egg to begin the process of building another human being. The complexity is beyond comprehension. How is it possible that the code and the arrangement of C, G, A, and T molecules in the chromosomes of one cell, so small you can hardly see it under a microscope, forming a string of base pairs similar to a stack of pennies 3,000 miles long, that these base pairs instruct the one fertilized cell how to multiply at a rate of up to a million cells a second to build a fully functioning body with heart, eyes, brain, lungs, and all the other organs with as many cells as there are seconds in a million years. Mathematically, it's just not possible that such mind-bending complexity evolved through mutation, natural selection, and survival of the fittest. This is especially true when entropy, the tendency for things to break, is always trying to tear down whatever order is made. The only alternative is that this incredible complexity that the chromosomes in one cell is able to build the trillions of cells of our fully functioning body, that this process was created by a being that is beyond our comprehension. We should all feel humbled and grateful that we have been the beneficiaries of this miraculous process.